Hello and welcome to the session on VEX IQ Slapshot. My name is Rob from Steam Labs. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through a few different mechanisms you can start to consider for the VEX IQ Slapshot 2223 competition. Now, at the end of the video, I'll be showing you a full build of a robot, which you can probably see behind me now. And I'll be walking you through the things which are working and the things that also need to be adjusted or maybe redesigned still. Let's check out those mechanisms and have a look at how you could look at implementing these on your robot for this year's competition. at the beginning of today's video we are going to be having a look at three different mechanisms which have been designed for the VEX IQ Slapshot competition and I'm going to demonstrate how each of these work before introducing you to this monstrous bot here for the Slapshot competition for the 22-23 season. Now first of all you'll be able to see that this mechanism down here we have got some discs which are preloaded and I'm going to go over to my brain and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the device, which is in port number one. Now, what you are going to be able to see as I angle my GoPro is this should be able to shoot out all of the discs which have been loaded into here. So if I press on start, you will be able to see that it has managed to empty out all of the discs which were in here. Now, these discs didn't go particularly far and this is mechanism number one. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spin this round so you can see the build of this. Now, at the moment, if you mount something like this onto your robot, we are able to store the discs temporarily and then unload them when we get towards the end of the field when we want to fire them into the two, three, four, or one point zone. Now, just so you can have a look at this gearing here, what we are using is an elastic band. We are using two of the larger gears here, and we've got motor placement on this side. Now, this mechanism allows us to create that shooting mechanism. Now, mechanism number two, this is probably my favorite mechanism for the slap shot competition. And this is using the same gearing which we used on the flywheel last season so very very powerful gearing here now at the moment what we can do is we can start port number one on our brain and that's going to start spinning these wheels and this mechanism allows us to shoot the discs really really far now the disadvantage to this mechanism is you're going to need to decide how you're going to get these discs preloaded but as you can see here this mechanism is very very powerful using this same gear ratio which we used for the previous flywheel design. So I'd say at the moment, this is probably one of the winning mechanisms that have been built. Now, finally, we are gonna have a look at our last mechanism here. So you can see that we've got some discs preloaded. We will have a look at the gearing in a minute. I am gonna start port number one on my brain and we can have a look at how it shoots these discs. So again, this is another contender for a mechanism which could be used. It's a little bit more complicated to build, but it does allow us to launch the discs further than the first mechanism which we looked at. Now I'm gonna pick this up just so you can see how it has been built, okay? So inside here, you can see we've got two 60 tooth gears. We've got an elastic band which is wrapping around the standoff at the back and then it's also wrapping around the front of this arm and that is what is allowing us to create that snapping mechanism so just so you can see it working again this is allowing us to create just enough tension in the rubber band to be able to shoot the disc last thing we are going to have a look at here is this robot for the slap shot competition so this is the first complete build 
using one of the mechanisms which I was demonstrating a few moments ago. And to start with, we've got our intake here. So this is going to allow us to rotate that complicated dispenser and get the discs out. As you saw earlier, this here is also an intake roller. This allows us to carry the disc over and into the compartment at the back over here. And then this will allow us to shoot the disc. Now here you're going to be able to see a disc has been preloaded. So if I try to take the disc into the back compartment and if I now turn the robot around, we can see that the disc is in this compartment. The robot is slightly moving by itself. And what we are going to do here is we are going to have a look at how this mechanism is able to launch the disc. And again, the robot is still moving by itself. Last thing that we are going to do here is we are going to have a look at how this mechanism works. So I'm going to pull this arm back and hopefully it will be able to shoot our disc. Now the last mechanism on this robot here is just this arm on the side which I think is being redesigned at the moment. So this allows us to take the arm forwards to stretch over the barrier at the end of a competition and then take it back. The team is working on designing this arm so it can also empty one of the dispensers and that is all for this video.